So once you are at Google Workspace Marketplace and you have searched WhatsApp Shop from Wati, you can see this install button. You can simply press install, continue, and it would need some permissions. So once you have successfully granted all permissions, you would see a pop-up which says WhatsApp Shop has been installed and will tell you that you can find it as an add-on in your Google spreadsheet. The next thing that you can do is go to Google Sheets and create a new bank document to create your very own store with the help of your new add-on that you just installed. So to use your WhatsApp Shop add-on from Wadi, you can go to add-ons, go to WhatsApp Shop and you can see create. A pop-up would be there and since we do not have anything on our spreadsheet right now, the pop-up would tell us to start from demo, which is right here. You can click on this. Agree. And then you can see a pre-made template here. Simply press cross and you can start editing your products, put in the categories, description, images, price, if it's active or not. N is for no, Y is for yes. Once you have edited your store, you can name your products. You can clearly see that the products that I want in the same category is named the same. And there's a description, there are images, the prices. For active, you can write yes or no or just Y or N. That doesn't matter. And once you're done doing all this, you can go to add-ons again. Go to WhatsApp shop, create. And you can then see your store in the pop-up. So this step is just to see, uh, just to make you sure that this is all the products that you wanted. So the total products eight, you can check if these are the products that you wanted and it's as per your need. Then you can press next. Now you can then add in details of your store, a description. Uh, you can add in the currency. So the currency would be based on the price that you put in here. So if it's 40 and I wanted an HKD, I would put all the price in HKD format. Then you can put in a number. Uh, probably your company or your person number in publish after you publish you would see two options so visit shop or share shop so if you press share shop then you would be redirected to another page where you can open whatsapp and share it to your contacts but if you do visit shop then you can see the shop which your clients would be seeing you have your categories you have the card is here there is delivery or pickup and suppose i am a potential client i am going to select some items that i want i will type in my information Then my address and special instructions could be anything. Um, and then you can simply press order on WhatsApp. The order is placed. You would receive a message like this from the client, which uh, would tell you if it's delivery or pickup. It would have the link of your store. Then there would be the order items. It would be the total price, the information of your client, and that's it. So it's a template message that you'll get, and you can then follow up by typing in messages. Thank you so much.